Hey guys, I get asked a lot of questions on different forms of magnesium. What to look for, what to take, what do we spend our money on, what do we not spend our money on. So I'm Dr. Robert and today I want to kind of clear up the confusion on the different forms of magnesium. So if you've seen any of my videos before, you probably know that magnesium is probably one of my favorite vitamins to take, I believe. Then in America, we have a magnesium deficiency and I believe that for a few reasons. I believe that a lot of things deplete of deplete us of magnesium. I believe the soil um, has less nutrient-rich minerals than it once did 50 years ago. And I believe we drink a lot of coffee that depleted us of magnesium. I believe we eat things that have high phytic acid, which also deplete magnesium. But there is a lot of marketing in the supplement industry. And I'm in the supplement industry. I consult with doctors on a routine basis. And I see patients here in our clinic in Georgetown. And there's a big confusion on what to take. So a lot of times you're always looking for the best deal. You're looking for the best deal for happy hour. You're looking for the best deal uh, when you go buy a car. But when you buy supplements, you really don't want to look for the best deal because the best deal is not going to make a difference in your health. Because, for example, for magnesium, for instance, a lot of people will go to CVS, Walgreens, Target, GNC, and they will be in a pinch waiting on the prescription, so they'll go buy a magnesium. The magnesium that they're buying is going to be in the form of magnesium oxide or magnesium citrate. Um, pretty safe to say. The reason that that's not good is that magnesium oxide is the least bioavailable form of magnesium, meaning it does not get absorbed in your body. Okay, so it's only 4% bioavailable. Magnesium citrate is a form that is good if you're about to get a colonoscopy and you need to get your bowels cleared out because what it does, first off, magnesium is a big molecule. It it's, takes up a lot of space. That's why you look in molten vitamins, you'll see, look at the magnesium content. There's not very much because magnesium will take up a whole lot of that space. So supplement manufacturers, especially in ones like Centrum that are doing one a day, they're not putting a lot of quality ingredients in that product. So they're just putting minuscule, you know, I call it pixie dusting. A little bit just to say that it's in there just putting just a little bit amount in that product so magnesium citrate is really good if you need to clear up the bowels um, basically magnesium gets broken down um, it ionizes inside of the gut goes down to large intestines creates an osmotic effect which causes water to rush out so don't don't shop for supplements you know at Walgreens or CDS unless you're in a total pinch look for higher quality forms so read the labels when you look when I always look for supplement label I read the back of it and I see what form of minerals it is. When I see zinc oxide or magnesium oxide or calcium carbonate, I think that supplement is trash. I, I just do. And I just know that that company's cutting corners somewhere. They're not putting um, the health of the patients as a priority. Or maybe they're trying to cut costs and just put a product out on for the sake of selling it. So I'm not about that. I'm not about risking my health or my patient's health or any of your health on a inferior form of magnesium. So what to look for is you look for a chelated form, meaning a magnesium that has a different form attached to it that is a transporter. It's a chelator. It's going to help it remain intact through the small intestine, actually go get absorbed on that site. So the form matters, and I'm going to go through the different forms because there's a bunch of them. So one of the best studied, most... Um, Bioavailable forms that I know of is magnesium glycinate. Magnesium glycinate is paired with the amino acid glycine. Glycine, if you don't know about it, is very neuroinhibitory. So it has a very calming effect. Glycine and GABA are very interrelated. So they're the two neuroinhibitory uh, amino acids. The excitatory amino acids like glutamate um, will excite your nervous system, right? So they're bad if you have a lot of chronic pain because they're gonna excite the nervous system and to have more central sensitization, more pain receptors on overdrive. So you want to calm down those NMDA receptors with something like magnesium glycinate. So it's going to be an intact molecule. It's going to go, and glycine is actually the smallest amino acid there is. So it's very, very good for absorption. One of the highest bio, bioavailable amino acids you can get. There are some actually some studies that it can actually cross the blood-brain barrier, which we'll talk about later on the other forms. But magnesium glycinate is a great product for anxiety, for sleep. Um, it's a good all-around magnesium. You can take it during the day. Won't really have any sedative effects, especially that's really good if you have a lot of anxiety. So, but I like magnesium glycinate, especially after a long day. I'm trying to unwind. My mind might be racing. I take the magnesium glycinate. Okay, the next one on the list is magnesium dimagnesium malate. So, malic acid. If you've ever heard of um, fibromyalgia, it's a lot of people are saying it's a calcium 
ion overdrive. So calcium is a buffer. It gets released from our bones. And if there's not a magnesium to buffer that, it can cause muscle spasm, muscle tension, um, headaches from the influx of calcium. They're very sensitive areas, especially what you see in fibromyalgia. So magnesium can help balance that. Now, I like magnesium malate because it's paired with amino acid or the mineral um, malate. And it's very oxygen, oxygenating, brings ATP to the muscles, can help flush out some of the lactic acid. I just read a study on magnesium. Another, another reason to look at it is for buffering lactic acid. So if you're a high-level athlete, taking magnesium before exercise can actually help you go longer, get, you know, have better exertion levels before you fatigue out. Okay, so magnesium malate, very good for muscle tension, for pain. So I love magnesium malate. I take it in the morning. I drive a lot for work. And I get a lot of tension through the upper neck, upper back area. So magnesium malate helps me to get less fatigue, right? We just talked about Alex getting less lactic acid. It helps my muscles stay more energized throughout the day. So it's a very, very good form. Um, the other form I want to talk about is magnesium threonate. So it's paired with theanine or three, yeah, th theanine. And what it helps do, it's got a lot of studies for it, is for memory, attention span, and for benefiting the brain. So I do think glycine crosses the blood brain barrier as well. 3 and 8 does have some published studies that are pretty interesting looking at its effects on cognition, um, dementia, etc. So if you have some of those effects and you are willing to spend a little bit more money, you might look for a magnesium 3 and 8. Okay, um, magnesium citrate, again, very, very uh, ionizing, causes a big osmotic effect, will cause you to go to the bathroom, right? So I take it in small doses. I take a blend. I get asked a lot, what? Well, is there just like one of every single one? I, so I don't, I haven't seen a blend of three and eight and glycine or malate together, but I have the blend I take personally is called reactive magnesium and it is a blend of glycine, malate, and also citrate. And it's more malate than anything. It's about 130 milligrams of malate, I think 40 milligrams of glycinate, and I think 30 to 40 of citrate. So it doesn't cause a, a, a laxative effect. It's a very, very good source of a blended form of magnesium through different absorption pathways, passive diffusion active diffusion. Now there's other specialty forms of magnesium um, that I've never experimented with personally, but I know others have, and I'll just go over those real quick. So magnesium orotate, um, similar to malate, very energizing, provides a lot of energy to the muscles. Um, for athletes, this one might be something to consider. It's kind of hard to find. You know, I have to look really hard for it. If I do ever come across it, I'm, I'm interested to try it for myself. Um, the other ones, let's think. Uh, magnesium torate, there are some good studies on that. Um, because it's very good for cardiovascular health. Magnesium in general is very good for cardiovascular health, very good for blood sugar, very good for stopping metabolic syndrome. So these are just some different forms to look for. I'm trying to think is there another form that I'm missing. There's aspartate too, but I don't like that one as much because some studies show it can be actually be excitatory, kind of like glutamate, which wouldn't be good if you're having a lot of pain reception, uh, pain receptor overloads or anxiety. So magnesium malate, magnesium glycinate, magnesium threonate, yeah, and that's it. And that's kind of all for, for all minerals. You're looking for a different form of absorption. So for selenium, you know, look for a bisglycinate chelate or a lysinate chelate, zinc bisglycinate, right? These are all just showing that their form is better. It's been covalently bonded. So it's going to be absorbed intact. It's going to go to those receptor sites that you want it to go to. And you're not going to be wasting your money because the most expensive supplement that you take is the one that doesn't work. I'm Dr. Robert Fredrickson. Please share this with someone who might need to hear this. Maybe they're, they're still going buy the cheapest brand of vitamins and trying to figure out why nothing's working and they're still complaining to you about why their pain is bothering them. So if this is your friend, let them know, share this with them, like this video. If you have a favorite form of magnesium, leave it in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.